For this tutorial, you're going to need your selected yarn. I'm using the Rico Creative Cotton Aran. You will need um, some stuffing for your egg, some scissors and a darning needle. And you want to have a look on your yarn label to see which size hook you want to use. This recommends between a four and a five. So I'm going to use my four and a half millimeter hook. To begin your project, you want to make a slip knot and you're going to start off by chaining two. You can use a magic circle if you want to, um, I just prefer this method. So you want to chain two, one and two, and then we're going to do eight double crochets into the second chain from the hook. So not this one here, the very first chain in this instance. Now when I say double crochet, please remember I'm talking in UK terms. In the US, this is known as single crochet. So we're going to start off by doing eight double crochets in this hook here. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. So that's one, and do the same thing two, three, you might need to just shift your fingers around as you're doing this, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you want to have a look at the stitches that you've got um, and count your way backwards just to make sure you're going to be working into the right stitch. So this is the stitch just here that I'm going to be working in next. And when we do these uh, rounds, we just continue them. We don't join this up and then build another row. So for our second round, what we're going to do is we're going to increase in the next stitch and that basically means we're going to do two double crochets into this next stitch. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through and again insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's increasing. We're then going to do one double crochet into the next four stitches. So you just move over to the next stitch, making sure you have uh, your V on, on your stitch. So one, two, three, and four. We're then going to do another increase, so two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next two stitches. One and two. And that round will equal 10 stitches in total. Now what you want, might want to do now is to grab a piece of yarn um, in a different colour and this is going to act as your stitch marker. So this is my different colour yarn here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this thread and just pop it underneath um, that stitch just there. And this is going to indicate that this is the, the first stitch of that row. And this just helps when you're working round if you lose count you know where you can go back to. So what we're going to do for the next round is start off with an increase, so two double crochets in this next space. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next five spaces. One. Two. Three. Four and five. We're then going to do another increase. So do two double crochets into the next space. One and two. 
and then we're going to do one double crochet into the next three spaces. One, two, and three. So when you have a look at where your stitch marker is, it lies directly underneath um, your next stitch, which is correct. Now you, what you want to do is just take this out and place it onto your next row. And we're going to repeat the same thing as we've done for the last few rows, but the stitches that we do in between the increases is going to go up by one. So what I mean by that is we're going to do a increase in this space, so two double crochets. Now we're going to do one double crochet into the next six spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Do an increase. One and two, and then do one double crochet into the next four spaces. One, two, three, and four. Grab your stitch marker and move it into the next space. And what we've been doing before, we're going to do an increase into this first stitch. One and two. And now because you should be getting the hang of it, I'm going to get you to pause the video while you do one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So now you've done your seven double crochets, we're going to increase into the next stitch. One and two. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, move that out of the way, four, and five. So again, just checking to make sure that the next stitch has your stitch marker from the previous row. So you're making sure that you're um, keeping the right stitches. That last round consisted of 16 stitches altogether, and now this next round is going to consist of 18 stitches. So we're going to start off as normal, and we're going to increase in the next stitch, so two double crochets. We're then going to do one double crochet into the next eight spaces. So pause the video and meet me back in a moment. So now you've done your um, eight double crochets, we're going to increase in the next space, so two double crochets in that space. And then if you want to pause the video and work one double crochet into the next six spaces, so you should be on your last stitch, you can move this across. And now we're going to increase the round up to 20 stitches in total. So increase in this first stitch, so two double crochets right in there. And then you are going to pause the video and work one double crochet into the next nine stitches. I shall see you in a moment. So now you've done your nine stitches, we're going to increase into the next stitch, so two double crochets, one and two. And then you're going to do one double crochet into the next seven stitches. Pause the video and I'll meet you back in a moment. Okay, we're going to grab our stitch marker and we're going to do our last row of increases now. I'm going to increase this up to 22 stitches. So two double crochets into the next space and then you're going to pause the video and do one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. 
Now you've done your 10 stitches, you're going to increase into the next space and then you're going to do one double crochet into the next eight stitches and this will create 22 stitches in total. So pause the video and meet me back once you've done your eight double crochets. So this next round is really easy. I've already just um, put my stitch marker in position and you're simply going to do one double crochet all the way around the whole of your work. So that's 22 stitches in total. Go ahead and do that, pause the video and meet me back once you've done that round. What we're going to do now is start to decrease our stitches. So just move your stitch marker and we're going to get this round down from 22 to 18. So what we want to do is we're going to double crochet the next two stitches together. And how you do that is you insert your hook into the next stitch, you yarn over and pull through, and instead of finishing off this stitch, you go straight into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and you'll have three loops on the hook. You then grab the yarn, and pull through all three loops on that hook and if you have, actually have a look on top of that stitch you have two longer V's so that's actually counting as one stitch rather than two. So you've just double crocheted two together you're then going to um, do one double crochet into the next four stitches so that's two, three and four. Then you're going to double crochet two together again. So insert, pull through, insert into the next stitch, pull through with three loops on the hook, you yarn over and pull through all three loops. And now you're going to do one double crochet into the next three spaces. One, two, and three and you're simply going to repeat that um, all over again so double crochet two together four double crochets double crochet two together three double crochets so pause the video I'll leave the instructions just here pause the video and meet me back once you've finished that round okay you're going to take your stitch marker out and now we're going to decrease this row from 18 to 14 so we're going to double crochet the next two stitches together, just as you did before. Yarn over and pull through. Apologies if you can hear some building noises. I think somebody's sawing something in the background. Um, you're going to do one double crochet into the next three spaces. One, two, and three. Oops double crochet two together and then um, one double crochet into the next two spaces one and two and you're going to repeat that all over again so again I'll leave the instructions in the frame pause the video and meet me back once you've done this round Okay, at this point you should start seeing the shape of the egg come together. It might look more like a pear, but once you stuff it, um, it will take shape a bit more. So we're starting to close it in. At this point you want to pull out your thread just so that you don't lose where you are. And you're going to take some of your stuffing and start stuffing your egg. Now, what I like to do at this stage as well is just put my hook through the very top of the egg and grab this thread here and pull it into the work and it just saves you sewing it in at the end. So grab some stuff in and pop it in. You can always add some more um, as you work your way further down so don't worry too much about that. So when you've stuffed your egg you can gently pull on this thread and insert your hook back into that space. You can take out your stitch marker and place it just here and now we're going to decrease this next row down from 14 to 10 
So we are going to double crochet the next two stitches together. So it might be a little bit more fiddly now, now that you've got your stuffing in there. So insert, insert, and pull through all three threads. We're now going to do one double crochet into the next two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, so that's one. And two, just double check that you are working into the next stitch because it can be a little bit harder to see at this point. Especially when you've got stuffing bits coming out all over the place. So now we're going to do, um, we're going to double crochet two together. And then we're just going to do one double crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that all over again till the end of the row. So as I said before, you can stuff the egg a little bit more if you want to. You definitely want to make sure that there's more stuffing in the base of the egg rather than the top so that it gives it more of a shape. I'm going to take my stitch marker out now just because I think the round is small enough to be able to just count. And what you're going to do now is double crochet two together five times because we have ten stitches in this row. So we're going to decrease it to five. So it's just two together, that's one, two together, two, two together, three, two together, four and then once more two together and that is five now at this point you don't want to leave it with a big gap in the end so I just go across to the opposite stitch doesn't really matter which one it is just uh, the opposite side let's go into this one and I double crochet And then I yarn over and pull through, grab my scissors, snip off, and pull out the thread. Pull that nice and tight, and I'm going to grab my darning needle and pull it into the egg itself. So there's my darning needle, I'm just going to poke it through, and then pull it through the stuffing, and then snip off. Thread. and then you just want to work your egg to make it more of an egg shape so there you go that is how you can crochet um, an egg obviously you can swap out the colors if you want to and make them uh, multicolored you could also add embellishments and um, maybe even a ribbon on the top to hang off your Easter trees but I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have fun playing around with different things. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!